right, we are live. Let's see. All right, hi, North Merrick. It's Miss Jackie here. I'm going to read you uh, one of my new favorite books. Let's see who is watching us. So everyone have a good day. It's kind of cold today, but I hope everyone got outside for a walk. All right, we are going to go ahead and get started. So this is a book that was given out to my daughter by one of my uh, good friends who used to work at the library with me. And it's by one of my favorite authors, Dan Sandpat. It's called After the Fall. And I think it has a really great message um, particularly for right now. So we'll start by thanking Roaring uh, Rivers, Roaring Book Brook Press, Press for letting us read this book on Facebook today. So again, After the Fall by Dan Sandpat. And it's about Humpty Dumpty. My name is Humpty Dumpty. This was my favorite spot, high up on the wall. I know it's an odd place for an egg to be, but I loved being close to the birds. Then one day, I fell. I'm sort of famous for that part. People called it the Great Fall, but I think that's a little grand. It was just an accident, but it changed my life. Okay. Does everyone know Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall? Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Fortunately, all the king's men managed to put me back together again. Well, most of me. There were some parts of me that couldn't be healed with bandages and glue. After that day, I became afraid of heights. I was so scared that it kept me from enjoying some of my favorite things. Look what he's doing. He's eating boring cereal, boring cereal. He can't get all the way up to the top shelf for the good sugary stuff. I walked past that wall every day and I would think about climbing that ladder again. I really missed the birds and being high above the city, but I could never do it because I knew that accidents can happen. Oh, poor Humpty, he's so afraid. I eventually settled for watching the birds from the ground. It wasn't the same, but it was better than nothing. Then one day, an idea flew by. Huh, do you see what the idea is? What does he see there? It's a paper airplane. Making planes was harder than I thought. It was easy to get cuts and scratches, but day after day, I kept trying and trying. until I got it just right. Look at that. Oops. My plane was perfect and it flew like nothing could stop it. I hadn't felt that happy in a long time. It wasn't the same as being up in the sky with the birds, but it was close enough. Unfortunately, accidents happen. Uh-oh. They always do. What happened to his paper airplane? Let's see. I almost walked away again, but then I thought about all the time I'd been spending working on my plane and all the other things I've missed. I decided I was going to climb that wall. Would you climb that wall? I don't know, that's a pretty tall ladder, but Humpty is going to be brave. But the higher I got, the more nervous I felt. I didn't want to admit it, I was terrified. I didn't look up, I didn't look down, I just kept climbing one step at a time. Until, I was no longer afraid. Look, he did it, hooray. 
she conquered his fears. Maybe now you won't think of me as that egg who's famous for falling. Hopefully, you'll remember me as the egg who got right on back up. Huh, do you see something happening to Humpty Dumpty? Is he cracking? Let's see. Oh my goodness, look what happened. The egg has cracked, and what is Humpty Dumpty now? And learned to fly. What came out of Humpty Dumpty's egg? He became a beautiful bird. There he is flying over the city. And that is the end. And that book again is After the Fall by Dan Santat, who is a Caldecott winner. All right, so let me see who is watching us so we can say hello. Sometimes it doesn't show me until after. Oh, hi, Spud family. Hi, Isabella. Hope you're doing okay. Hi, Sue. How's it going? I know I'll see everyone's comments after we're all done, but I'm really happy to see you all. I miss you. Um, I'll be back next Thursday at 6 for another story time. Miss Janet will be on on Tuesday at 11. Um, and definitely make sure to check out um, all the other offerings we have from the children's department. Um, we are offering online readers advisory for you. I'll help you choose some books. Um, that you can find online for free with our apps, Overdrive and Libby, um, and also with Tumble Books. And we have some Zoom classes coming up, some art classes, baking, and uh, play hooray and preschool fun. So definitely check them out. Let's see if anyone else wants to say hello to us. Oh, hi, Evans family. How's it going? Hey, Nicholas. And Charlotte, of course, Chambers. Hope you guys are doing okay. And I'll see you all soon. I'm going to sign off. Bye. <laughs>